and a little luck and we'll do the rest. Amen. Paramount Network's popular Western drama series Yellowstone had a bumpy ride towards its final season. Initially, it was expected to break ratings records, but instead it has been struggling with low ratings and has been cancelled after five seasons. Hey! <laughs> you out of your mind? Get back. Get back, all right? Get back before that thing eats somebody. Star Kevin Costner's participation in the last episodes is still uncertain as he moves on to a new passion project, a series of Western films. However, the show has reached a new audience since it started airing on CBS. As Yellowstone approaches its final season, there are several unresolved conflicts among the Duttons, including a civil war between Jamie and Beth, John facing impeachment, and a devastating illness affecting Montana's wildlife and the Duttons' cattle. That's life. In case you haven't noticed, it is cruel and uncaring. Despite all this, fans are eagerly anticipating the second half of the final season, which is expected to air soon. This article provides you with everything you need to know about the upcoming season, including the release date, the cast information, and a recap of the first part of the season to prepare you for what's to come. I wanted this. I need you more than ever. You have me. Just tell me how to fight. Everyone. Yellowstone fans have a great opportunity to rewatch the popular series while it is on hiatus. The show made its debut on CBS on September 17, airing episodes from the beginning of season one every Sunday. CBS has announced that it will continue to air Yellowstone on Sunday nights after the conclusion of the first season, with season two starting on October 29. On Sundays, with a single NFL game, two episodes will air consecutively at 8-7C. On Sundays, with a double header, one episode will air at 9-8C. Fans can find the complete CBS fall schedule online. Yellowstone's popularity was evident in its first week on CBS, with a viewership of 6.6 .6 million, which was much higher than the 2.8 million who tuned in for the series premiere on Paramount Network back in 2018. Paramount confirmed that Yellowstone will end with season five. However, they also announced that a sequel series is in the work, set to debut in December. The ongoing writers and actors strike may cause delays in these projects. Kevin Costner's involvement in the final episodes of season five remains unclear. There were reports that he would leave the show after season five, but the show's creator, Taylor Sheridan, has insisted that his intended ending is still in play. Ongoing discussions with Costner's team may lead to more scenes being filmed to wrap up his character. I'm disappointed, Sheridan expressed his dissatisfaction in the interview. It truncates the closure of the character. It doesn't alter it, but it truncates it. However, the final season of Yellowstone will not be truncated. Initially, Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 was supposed to be just six episodes, but it may no longer be the case. The Hollywood Reporter quoted Sheridan saying, If it thinks it takes 10 episodes to wrap it up, Paramount Network will give 10, as long as it needs to be. The much-awaited sequel to Yellowstone, which is still in development and will have Yellowstone in the title, is expected to be set in an entirely new location with a new cast. Matthew McConaughey is reportedly in talks to lead the show. Sheridan stated that the new series would not feature surviving characters from Yellowstone. Sheridan spoke to THR about the challenges faced by communities that have a 150-year-old way of life, which is now facing significant changes. According to him, the challenges faced by these communities are entirely different from what they used to be and there are numerous places where this story can be told. The 666 Ranch, which became part of Yellowstone's story and is now owned by Sheridan, was one of the places where Sheridan wanted to tell the story. Production of 6666 is on hold while Sheridan spends extra time on it, having personally witnessed its storied history. Sheridan also has several more unannounced Yellowstone prequels in the works. In May, Paramount Network announced that Yellowstone would end with its second half of the fifth season. It's your memories and your imagination all mixed together and into this soup of what's real, what's made up. The series is scheduled to return with its final episodes in November, but due to the writer's strike and actor's strike, the timetable will likely shift. Despite facing delays, Paramount was able to release a teaser for the latter half of the season. However, since the new episodes have not been filmed yet, the teaser contained no new footage. In mid-December, Piper Parabo mentioned to TV Guide that she had no idea what to expect after episode 8. Throughout four seasons, we have witnessed manipulation, scheming and power struggles against a breathtaking backdrop of Montana's untouched beauty. In season 5, we see John Dutton, the new governor, taking charge with Beth, Kelly Riley, by his side. The two-part premiere of the season clearly sets out his intentions. Despite the change in leadership, the ranch remains unchanged, which leads to some of the best scenes in the first two episodes. It's uncertain whether or not Kevin Costner will appear in the final episodes of Yellowstone Season 5. However, the current season has already introduced a mix of familiar and new characters. Josh Lucas returned as young John Dutton after his last appearance in Season 3, along with Kylie Rogers as young Beth and Kyle Reed Silverstein as young Rip. You want to go out? Out? 
date before I leave. Jackie Weave also returned as Market Equity CEO Caroline Warner, the Dutton's latest business foe. I cannot wait to pave this place over. Oberings Plenty and Wendy Moniz have been promoted to series regulars as Thomas Rainwater's right-hand man and Governor-turned-Senator Linnell Perry, respectively. She's not evil, Mo. She's just angry. I'm trying to punish the world. Yeah, I know. And that's what evil means. Additionally, four new characters have been introduced to Yellowstone. Kai Caster as a young cowboy named Rowdy, Lainey Wilson as a musician named Abby, Lily Kai as Clara Buer, Governor Dutton's new assistant, and Dawn Oliveri from 1883 as Sarah Atwood, a Montana newcomer and corporate shark who has become involved with Jamie. The entire bunkhouse is back, with the return of Forry J. Smith, Denham Richards, Ian Bowen, Ryan Bingham, and Jen Landon, who has been promoted to a series regular. Kathleen Kelly, who portrays Jimmy fiance, Emily, has also been promoted to a series regular. Catherine Kelly, who portrays Jimmy Fiance, has also been promoted as well. The two have only appeared in mid-season finale, where they are happily living and working in the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. Hallie, a young girl who is confident and drawn to Carter, is played by Ori Gossman. So far, we have only seen her at a county fair and briefly in a mid-season finale. Her character description reads that in Season 5, she becomes a person who helps Carter. The main cast members include Kevin Kustner as John Dutton, Kelly Riley as Beth, Luke Grimes as Casey, Wes Bentley as Jamie, Cole Hauser as Rip, Kelsey Alsby as Monica, Breck Metal as Tate, and other characters we've already mentioned in this video multiple bloody times. Kevin Michael Costner, born in January 18, 1955, is an American actor, producer, and film director. He has been recognized with numerous awards, including two Academy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, a Primetime Emmy, and two Screen Actors Guilds Awards. Taylor Sheridan is a renowned American filmmaker and actor. He's widely known for his portrayal of David Howe in the FX season Sons of Anarchy and Danny Boyd in Veronica Mars 2005 to 2007. Sheridan has written several films, including the screenplay for critically acclaimed movie Sicario 2015, which earned him a nomination for the Writers Guild America Award for Best Original Screenplay. He was also nominated for the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for his work in Hell or High Water 2016, which received three other Oscar nominations, including Best Picture. In addition to writing, Sheridan has also directed movies, including the 2017 neo-western film Wind River and the 2018 sequel to Sicario. He's also a co-creator of the series Yellowstone and its prequels, 1883, 2021, and 1923, 2022, as well as a crime thriller, Mayor of Kingstown. Furthermore, he created the crime drama Tulsa King, which he co-wrote and shares a show with Terence Winter. In 2021, Sheridan was inducted into the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. So that's all for today's video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe for more drama slash series updates, share your thoughts in the comment section, and share it with your friends. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Bye.